hello joyful tribe and welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is doing well in this video i share how to make this delicious stir fry macaroni and chicken very very delicious so to make this i'm gonna season the chicken which i have already cleaned and also made some incisions so that our marinade can really penetrate into the chicken so first thing here is some olive oil some smoked paprika for that smokiness and depth of flavor next i went in with some um, suya pepper that thing was a game changer some garlic powder onion powder chicken seasoning and salt mix to rub this in really well cover and let it marinate in the fridge for at least two hours so i got this done earlier in the day then when i was ready to film i then went ahead to prep the veggies you want all your ingredients prepped for this recipe before you start because it happens really quick here i have some spring onion yellow pepper for heat carrot bell pepper and some white onion i have rinsed them really well off camera what i'll do now is slice them up and set it aside you can slice it up into any shape that you like okay Today's hug is for Elizabeth Onovo watching from Nigeria. Thank you for taking the time to leave me a comment. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hug in my next video. Also, if this is your first time here, I want to especially thank you for clicking to watch this video. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go, click the like button and turn on your bell notification so you'll be among the first to know anytime I post a new video. And to my returning subscribers, I love you. Thank you for always coming back to watch. So one more ingredient you need to prep before you start cooking is the chicken. I chopped up some chicken thighs and set in a bowl, but I didn't show that part. But just to let you know that you need chicken. You can also use the breast. Alright, so now that everything is prepped, let's start cooking proper. In a pot of boiling water, I'm going with some salt and some oil then add the macaroni you're going to cook the macaroni two minutes less than the required cooking time on the packaging for instance if it says cook for 10 minutes then cook for eight minutes now when you stir this around you don't want to cover all the way otherwise it can bubble and make a mess on your gas i don't like it when that happens so i always cover halfway through all right so our chicken is well marinated i let it marinate for four hours then 30 minutes before the cooking time, I let it relax on the kitchen counter to bring it to room temperature. So now I'm going to air fry this chicken. Air fry is just a lifesaver for me when it comes to quick recipes like this. So place the chicken in here and then according to the air fryer manual, set it to the chicken thigh setting. At this time, I check on the macaroni, give it a quick stir and drain. Remember I said you should cook it two minutes less the required cooking time, okay? So drain this and I also like to rinse this with cold water. Even though I boil with oil, sometimes this thing still sticks together. <laughs> so I find that when I rinse it with cold water, it helps as well. In a pan, I'll heat up some oil, then go in with the chopped chicken. This is chicken thighs, like I said. You can also use um, chicken breast. Now, it will be better to, you know, marinate the chicken before you add it to the oil, but this also worked, okay? Next, I'll season with some garlic powder, onion powder, chicken seasoning, salt, and some chili flakes. Stir this in and continue to stir as well with intervals until it is cooked. This should take roughly 7 to 10 minutes or less and I did this on high heat. If you are still watching, this is a good time to please click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your bell notification so you don't miss any of our posts. Alright, so at this time the chicken is ready, I am going to scoop it out and set it aside. Thank you. 
in that same pan you can see we have most of the oil from the chicken thighs i'm going to now fry the onion here which is the white and spring onion i prepped earlier and then go in with some grated garlic and ginger as well then allow this to fry for about two minutes so that they can all release their beautiful flavors <music> Next thing is the rest of the veggies, which is some green bell pepper, red bell pepper, carrots, and the yellow pepper for heat. You're going to stir this in, season with some chicken seasoning. You can add curry or thyme. In fact, add your preferred seasoning, but I was not going for that. I used only chicken seasoning, and that's because I was going to add some oyster sauce. So once I add the seasoning, stir it in again and allow it to fry for about three to four minutes. Around the half time check mark, you want to go and check on your chicken and then flip it over so that the other side can cook as well. Four minutes later, I give it another quick stir and then I'm going to add a uh, sauce. So like I said, I'm going to add some oyster sauce. This is it here. In place of this, you can use um, stir fry sauce if that's what you have. You can also add soy sauce to this, okay? So once I add the sauce, I'll add the chicken and stir very well to combine. Alright, this base is looking good and it was tasting really delicious as well. I'm going to now add the cooked macaroni. Now, because I rinsed off the salt and everything from the macaroni, you can adjust with a little bit more salt if you want, but I added a bit more oyster sauce instead and just stirred, stirred, stirred until everything was well combined. Now, at this time, if you think your pasta is still too hard, you can go in with some of the pasta water and then cover for it to cook through. But I did not need to add water, I just covered for everything to come together. Meanwhile, our chicken is ready. Take it off and set it aside. After about three minutes, I give this one final stir and our macaroni stir fry is ready. You guys, this was so delicious. Very simple as well, but my kids really enjoyed it. I hope you give this a try and enjoy it as well when you do. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.